Now we're going to learn the second operation of uh, sets uh, that is called intersection, and we represent intersection by the inverted cup sign. This is my cup inverted. Okay, this is the symbol we we say intersection, and we represent by inverted cup. All right. Uh, so what does the intersection means? Now intersection means something like this. If you have a Venn diagram, suppose, and we have a two set, suppose set A. All right, and this is my set B. This this time I'm taking. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, intersecting uh, sets, all right. This is A and this is B. Then that time intersection means just the point which is shared in both A and B, just the region or just the elements which are in A also and which are in B also. All right. Keep in mind that. Suppose I have set A that is one, two, three, four, five, and I have set B that is one, two, three, nine, seven. So that time, what are the th things which is common in A also and which is common in B also? One, two, three is here also, and one, two, three is here also. So here, if I'm writing A intersection B, then I will write those elements which are in A also and which are in B also, just like here. All right. So these are one, two, and three. This is this is what intersection means. All right. Uh, intersection sometimes if there are disjoint sets disjoint set uh, something like this we have one set A and we have another set B means nothing is common between them something uh, something like this uh, A is my one two three and B is my uh, uh, four five seven so what is my A intersection B what is the common thing between one uh, between set A and set B the common set between uh, common things or common elements between A and B is nothing. Means phi, all right. So this is what that time phi set. So we don't get intersection for the disjoint sets. We only discuss intersection in the case of intersecting sets. This is called intersecting sets. Uh, you have already learned the types of the sets, all right. So I hope you understand what is intersecting set. Sometimes it may be like this: one complete set is inside another one. Like uh, you have. You have set A, all right, and uh, we have another set B, and B is inside the A, something like this. A represents the elements from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and if uh, B is representing odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, nine. In that case, what you write A intersection B. Because this B section is uh, this B section is completely inside the A, so that time A intersection means complete B. All right, this is B actually here. So uh, what is what is the common things between A and B now? Common things between A and B is one uh, and then three and then five and then seven and then nine. These are the elements common between A and B. So my intersection will be this time 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So that time, uh, this is my intersection. Okay. Completely B is inside the A. Sometimes it may happen that A is inside the B, uh, like this. Uh, this is your big set B, and in which this is your uh, A set, suppose. A set and all the elements of A is inside the B. So that time this section I need to write. This is my intersection. Keep in mind. All right. So intersecting intersecting uh, sets may be uh, in many cases. Uh, we'll be learning a lot of a lot of examples. We'll be checking. So there uh, you'll definitely feel easy. All right. Uh, watch this uh, Venn diagram related videos randomly. Not don't watch randomly. Watch one by one. I have uh, tried to make the list. Uh, playlist so it is better to write uh, learn this uh, all concepts of Venn diagram in the playlist all right otherwise you want to get the systematic uh, videos then uh, just below this video I have put the link click on the link that will uh, uh, that will uh, brought you to the new uh, that will that will lead you to the page where all the all the all the, all the uh, videos are in systematic order all right